Welcome back to my channel guys. Been a busy man lately, so I haven't uploaded as much as I've wanted to. But I'm finally done with calculus. I feel like I have so much time in my hands now that I feel like finally I can I can get down to biz. So please don't mind the dogs in the background. I live in a busy neighborhood, but I got some new project coming up and I want you guys to check it out. <laughs> So here it is. It is the um, six digit DIY digital electronic clock. So here we go. Um, you know, this one um, doesn't look as exciting. I mean, unless you're, you're like an enthusiast, you know, this isn't one of those fancy projects that you want to give a kid so he can get excited about. I mean, I guess it depends on his level of interest in the in the matter uh, pretty basic it comes with the board which uh, it's just gonna help you line everything up uh, it's really good uh, these little kinds of projects a just to, to learn how to solder and B you know it gets you familiar with components that are necessary so this one itself is only gonna be a clock so here we have all the resistors that I guess we might need, um, some cabling, capacitors, um, then we have the actual clocks themselves, or the, the, the LED displays right here, uh, more capacitors, more resistors, and here we have a AT89C2051. I'm gonna have to look it up to see what what this does I'm not really sure and then yeah we have uh, more LEDs I think this is a speaker so maybe it comes with an alarm so nice more capacitors um, we have some transistors a button right here and a pin thing for the for this right here so the instructions now these are definitely um, bare minimum instructions if you don't know what this what any of this is at all it might be a little bit complicated at first um, I'm sure there's some YouTube videos or any kind of instructional videos that the manufacturer gets this right here I think is the perfect project to start out with because it's gonna require a lot of soldering and by the end of this project I'm gonna be a lot more confident in my soldering skills than if I hadn't done this so yeah i'm pretty excited about building this project right now i gotta get going because i have this is where i'm at right now i have gone ahead and soldered everything in place i feel like this is the most i've soldered ever in my life but i've got some good practice out of it um as you can see they're all right all right soldering skills i mean my first ones were um, as you can tell, kind of rough around the edges, but you know, they starting to look a lot better. Well, iron is hot. Let me, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to touch it. I'm left-handed and I found out that it's easier if I hold the soldering with my left hand and the iron with my right hand. All right. There we go. Got some soldering going on here. In the case you didn't notice, um, I might look different because it's after Halloween and I did a Halloween costume that required me to shave. So, Hooray! yeah, that happened. But anyways, we got everything in place and now we're gonna connect it. And this is the true test to see if whatever soldering job I did is good or not. So, let's check this out. Oh shoot, it worked, it works, look at that, all right, look, it has a little counter, I don't know what I'm doing, but it looks like I'm adding zeros, 
there's a buzzer. I don't know how it works. But anyways, overall, I'm extremely excited that my first soldering project is working nice and tight. I feel like this is an awesome project if you're trying to learn how to solder. And if you're trying to learn how to work these seven segment digit displays, also another good way to learn is by doing some research and building this on your own. Other than that, I'm gonna call this a success and now I can actually make a review on my soldering gun. So I'll be doing that later on sometime whenever I have time. But for now, I'm just happy with this and I think I'm going to incorporate it somehow into something. So we'll see. But for now, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. It's me again. One final note I forgot to add, or last minute thing I decided to throw on. Check this out. I connected my creation with a battery pack, which works perfectly, and a battery system BMS, battery management system. So. It's supposed to protect it from. It's supposed to protect it from overcurrent, overcharge, uh, undercharge. Anyways, it's rechargeable, and it'll probably last like a whole year with these kind of batteries. So exciting! I'm gonna post this, and I can't wait to see what you guys think. Um, thank you again for watching. Please like, subscribe. Sorry for not posting as much as I usually do busy full-time student and full-time at work family all that crazy stuff anyways thank you talk to you guys in the next one